today to do a short tutorial on how to face paint a tiger. I'm going to start off with the white muzzle. I'm going to use a sponge and um, a spray to spray the sponge first. And then I'm going to get my white paint that way. I'm going to just go like this, one side to the other. I'm then going to do the same um, with the eyes. Just spray, get some white paint. And we're gonna go on a diagonal outwards, just like that. Okay, so as you would have seen there, I um, when you're going to paint someone's face, you are obviously have their eyes closed. But I can't do this with my model, so I've just had to wipe a little bit of paint out of her eye. You will not do this in real life, um, but for the purpose of the board, it is okay. Now I'm going to use a split cake to do my colours. Uh, for this purpose, you can use, use single colours and just blend them in the middle. So again, I'm going to I'm going to start around the top and then go like this this way like that so again I'll put some water on my sponge and there you go so that is the colour. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, the black detail, which are the stripes mainly. Now, the first bit I'm going to do is a muzzle, and so for that I'm going to use quite a thin-ish brush. Um, again, make sure it's not too wet, so if you've got a towel nearby you can just dab it to make sure that it's not too wet. And then I'm going to start sort of this far up the nose and then come all the way out and then come round. So you can start off quite thinly and then you can apply more pressure to make it a bit wider and then you bring it back in again. Just like that, you see? And then do the same the other side and sometimes it's quite hard to make it exactly the same the other side but it doesn't matter because no one is completely perfect and so and neither are the animals they might have different stripes and they all look different so if one side is slightly different to the other it does not matter there we go there is the muzzle um now um for the purpose of my model here i can't see her nose whereas if you're painting someone's face you should definitely hopefully be able to see their nose so i'm kind of having to guess a little bit where the nose is um i think it's around here <laughs> And then I'm just going to, again, not perfect, make it a bit fatter around the side and then bring it down a little bit in the middle. And then you're going to come down the middle and the way you will have put the white over the top lip and then you just open it out a little bit on the top lip there. You see? And then it's up to you. I'm going to paint the bottom lip black. Now she is a bit uneven. <laughs> but um, like I say, it doesn't matter. Now then I'm going to go on to my stripes. Now I am going to use a dagger brush for some of it. With this one I'm going to start with the eye. And I'm going to go from the corner outwards so I'm going to start off upright and then I'm going to push down to get more of a flat side of my brush and then pull back again into a straight line you see and again the other side and then I'm also going to do some stripes this way now I'm going to do more like a diamond uh, shape stripe so I'm going to start in the middle there and I'm going to come out go all the way around and then come to a point and again the other side there you go now I'm going to go back to a, a thin brush just to do something over the eye and then I'll go back to the other stripes basically I forgot the eye bit <laughs> 
So just over the eye, I'm going to do, so this would be sort of over the eye socket, so above the eye socket. Just do a nice thin line and then flick out there. And then the same the other side. So there's that. And then now I'm going to go to a different brush. So you might have the more typical one you're going to have at home, just like this one here. And I'm going to do some more stripes. I'm going to do it in the middle there. And I'm going to go and then thin and then make it thicker. And then make it thin again. And I'm going to do another one, just another little one, just around here. And then I'm going to do a nice little, just a nice little bit here, thin, thick, and then down again. So I'm going to do a thicker one around the side here, and then thick, oh. and I'm going to do a nice little one just in there, or a, bit, a slightly bigger one around here, around the muzzle, go thick again, and then go thin. Do one more this way, out, and then this way, down. There we go. And I'm going to use a longer brush for my whiskers here. Um, but but if it's just a thin brush, then that's great. If not, if you've got a thicker brush, and if you've only got a thicker brush, just try and get the very very tip of it, and just flick out, just flick out some whisk whiskers there. And then if you want to, you can do some white ones as well which I am going to do. There we are. And then just for a little added extra, I like to do some dots. If you've seen any of my other demonstrations, you know that I like a good dot. And again, I use a quite a, a thicker brush for this one. Just use a bit of a thicker brush. And it's just, you choose where you want to do some dots. I quite like doing groups of three. They don't need to be in the same place. And then you could just leave it there. Or if you want to add a bit of um, glam to it, you could put some gold edging around the side if you've got a, a glitter um, bling. Um, and you can also add, if you want to add some teeth, you can do. So you, just, you can just add some little fang teeth there. Yes, yeah, save a tooth tiger. There you go, you can see just Quite simple there, and then I would, um, if I were going to do teeth, I'd outline them as well with a thin brush. There we go. So this is the glitter bling. I've used it before on these demonstrations. Um, I just think, you can, if you want to be a glam tiger, you don't have to be a plain old tiger. You can just do a bit of... There you go. See, just on the edge there. I could even do a couple of dots. Why not? Of course you can use normal glitter or a puff glitter, but there we go. And that is your tiger. So thank you very much for watching and I will be back soon. Thank you.